Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if your keyboard is not working when playing games on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to check the condition of your keyboard. If you're using an external plug and play keyboard, try swapping it out with another keyboard if you have one and see if maybe it was just an old or worn out keyboard. They do wear out, so that's certainly a possibility if you're having issues with particular keys on your keyboard that are frequently used. You can also look into turning on or off sticky keys as well. So I have a tutorial on my channel about that if you need to refer to it. But generally, we're going to look into a couple other things in today's tutorial. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best match, or come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And over on the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. So go ahead and select that. And now underneath other, you want to scroll down, select the keyboard option, and then the run button. And give it a moment here. And then hopefully if there was an issue detected, it should be able to resolve that. So go ahead and close out of here. If you're having an issue with Steam related games, you can go ahead and open up the search menu. Type in Steam, best match, or come back with Steam. Go ahead and right click on it and select open file location. And right click on the shortcut again and select open file location. So now that we're in here, you want to click on a random entry and start typing in user data. So now double click on the user data folder. Double click on Steam ID and then double click on App ID. There should be a file in here that says remote cache.vdf. Go ahead and right click on it and then you want to delete it. You can tap the delete key on your keyboard, whatever your preference is, but just go ahead and delete that file. And then you want to restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. I do pause to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.